We are in a new location. Yeah. Yeah. Picture lang then. Puta tayo dun sa dagat. Okay. Just put it in your ano. Nakalagay dun. Press green for free ticket. So that means it's free. Ah. Okay. All right. So. All right. All right. So. We are here in Drew Ridge Country Park and over there that's the uh, one of the largest man-made lake in England, uh, Drew Ridge Country Park. Oh, Shane likes sausage roll. <laughs> oh, <can I? laughs> All right. Okay. No, we just take pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Get out. 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 Get at another location and this is uh, Drew Ridge Beach. It reminds me of the time when the aliens were driving the car. What? The aliens, the big aliens, the boy aliens, and someone had to do the car. My friend Eldon is our guide ever since we started the day. No, Where? Over here. <laughs> uh, something uh, going on there. Does it have stones? Ang Criswell, walang ganito. Bakit may ganito? Hindi ko alam. Siguro, ano yan? Pang... Against landing invasion nun. Kasi walang ganito. Ang Criswell, wala. Ganyan lang. Walang ganito. Tapos hindi ganito. 
Walang itong ito. Walang itong ito. Walang itong ito. Walang itong ito. Walang So this this long coastline of Northumberland is made up of so many beaches. Over there, that's uh, Amble Beach, and this beach where I am right now is uh, Druridge Bay uh, Beach, and on the other side, that's uh, Cresswell Beach. So Northumberland is famous for its lovely beaches because of its long coastline that hugs the uh, North Sea uh, which is on the east of, uh, of the United Kingdom. This place is just beautiful. So for anyone thinking of moving somewhere beautiful, think about coming to Northumberland. The place is really magical. It's a very historical place. Stand up living here is quite low compared to living in uh, major towns and cities. Houses here are very cheap. Uh, my friend, where we are staying at the moment, uh, bought a four bedroom house for around 190,000 <clears> pounds. And it's a brand new house. You cannot buy a uh, four bedroom house with that price uh, in a town close to London. And uh, the other day we passed by a group of houses, newly built houses. And it says on the billboard that uh, there are houses for sale for as low as 288 pounds per month. Yeah, you heard it right. 288 pounds per month. Uh, this is really, really cheap. And uh, my friend also told me that there are people she knows who are aged between 22 to 25 who already managed to buy their first home. If you do decide to come to Northumberland, although it's far from London, it's just a ride away, probably 15, half an hour, drive by car, and you can come to beaches like this. So on your weekend break, you can just come to these beaches and uh, relax chill out have a swim if it's uh, a warm weather so if I am still younger I would I would think about moving in here 
it's really a beautiful place and there are a lot there are a lot of uh, great locations uh, to visit you have castles you have ancient ruins uh, natural attractions yeah just just so many things to see yeah something about it so uh, you can see the coastline as far as your eyes can see This is the first time that we have a proper holiday since the start of the COVID pandemic and uh, it's, it's been good to be out enjoying the outdoors with my family and uh, I hope uh, this will be the start of uh, normality in, uh, in England and in the whole of the United Kingdom so that people can go out and enjoy so most of uh, people in the United Kingdom uh, have decided to uh, go on staycation meaning to say they just spend their vacation within the UK instead of going to other countries because some other countries there are still uh, certain restrictions and when you come back to the UK from your holiday abroad it's uh, it's too much to undergo quarantine and uh, spend a lot of money to pay for your quarantine uh, before it only cost about a thousand pounds for the quarantine hotel now the government has raised it to around two thousand so uh, going back to what I mentioned before about starting life here in Northumberland as I have said uh, houses here are very cheap and I even said to my wife when I retire I want to retire here sell the house in Luton and then uh, use part of the money to buy a brand new four bedroom house and then she can uh, continue working in hospital close by <laughs> so it's not a bad idea and I said to her I would just you know spend my time here in the beaches having a walk with the dog or maybe go fishing yeah so seems like life is it's wonderful when you spend it in a place like this oh foodie
Okay, so how did you find your uh, <laughs> your holiday so far in Northumberland? <laughs> yeah. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> we had a great time. Can't explain. Every day. Yeah. That's our uh, our friend Elden. Oh, our very uh, <laughs> hospitable host and an unbelievable chef. Welcome to the Tumberland. Yeah. Where can you find a host that will kick a cook your breakfast <laughs> when you wake up in the morning and will cook your dinner when you come home from your tour of the place? Yeah. Ew. Yeah. All you have to do is just take a shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the area. It's more than five star. Yeah. Oh, more than. So I'm even suggesting to Elton to open a bed and breakfast. You know, a B and B. <laughs> yeah. So in the future, if you want to book, you have to book in advance. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's eat something. Five minutes left. And then we'll move on to another one. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. No, he he's not okay. <laughs> I love dogs. <laughs> they love food. He loves food. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> Lovely beach this, isn't it? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Ala Julia, <laughs> tuan kasama bula with the with the bubbles of the ano. Ito ah. Oh. Dalaga ka ng ga. Dun ba sa wave? Yeah, like.